And you know what? You better start listening now. There's a lot of difference, Miss Ruth, in canned food and your kind of candy. Canned food's got a date on it. When the date goes out and goes out and you keep it a year longer than it's supposed to be, I wouldn't want to eat it. Amen. I've seen cans turn black. Amen. And spew it out around the top of it. I don't want that junk. But I'm glad, thank God, that I eat one day from the master's table. Amen. And I ought to tell you something about it. When he sealed me, he sealed me. And Brother Jeff, he put that seal on there. Thank God he said you're sealed until the day of redemption. <laughs> Woo! Come on, church. Well, ain't the Bible. Read it next week. It's in there. How many say amen? It's in there. Amen. Amen. Yeah, sealed. Sealed. Purified. Glorified. Magnified. Lord God, some of you ought to be running around here shouting this morning. Somebody like that. They're going to like that. You anyhow, just jump up and shout in. Amen. I don't care what they're laughing about. The old fowls of the air, for they neither they sow, not neither do they reap, nor rather unto gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not more better than they? Wow. Amen. Wow. Up on 64 one day, this lady whirled over in her car to miss a squirrel. I knew the lady. And she hit, I can take you to where the wreck was at, and she hit two poplar trees, broke both of her legs, and uh, was crippled for a long, long time. And you know what the state patrolman asked her? Why did you do such a thing as that? I know you don't want the little fellow to die, but you let him live and you might die. Amen? Amen. Now, I'm not saying run up, now my daughter's one does the running over. <laughs> when I went out to the Lord's house and there's two skunks and the possum been run over and I said, Donna's been doing here shortly. <laughs> but the fowls of the air, they don't read nor sow. And how much better do you think we are today? Oh. We're God's children, amen. amen. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't know if you think I hate little birds, come over to the house and find out I've got a bird feeder. And I spent $50, I guess, through the summer feeding them, or winter feeding them little fellas. And they, they got out there where they were, just wait on me, sitting on the side of the thing to bring them feed. They ain't know I ain't going to hurt them, I'm doing them good. Amen. Well, you ought to know that I ain't going to hurt you. I'm going to do you good. And Jesus' word will do you better. Amen. Now listen to what he said. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his structure, right, right? Statue. Statue. Thank you. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, and how they grow, and how they toil off. Neither do they spin. And boys, I'm telling you what's the truth. I've been to uh, Canada. I've been to Niagara Falls many years ago. And I went inside, and there were some of the prettiest you've ever been there. And I know Miss Devonport has. I believe she has. Miss Dave Ward, you've been there, ain't you? Or you? She ain't been there, you? Dad, you've been to inside of Canada. Uh, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, and they ain't this plum beautiful flowers of beds of yeah. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Heaven, when you walk in it, is going to have all kinds of these here flowers. They may not toil or grow. They may not spin here, but Arnold God has got us prepared on the other side. Amen. Amen. And we ought to thank God for that. I told somebody the other day, talking about my sister being cremated, I said, well, there's one thing about it, I've got a place to hope that the Lord's willing that if I die before Jesus comes to be put. But there's one thing about it, the only fire that I hope I'll ever feel is burning in my heart. Yeah. Amen. Thank God that fire of God is burning. And way down deep in, why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the living. Verse 29. And yea, I say unto you, that even Solomon, all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. You know, Solomon was a smart guy. We can be real smart, we can be educated and have all that, but if we don't have Jesus, we're plumbed up. Amen. 
Amen. But I'm glad. Now listen to what it says. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the heaven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? I, I'm going to tell, I, I tell about myself because I know about me. I got sick last night about 2 o'clock. Man, I thought I was dying. Stomach just rolled. And I got up and went to the bathroom and I got up and went in there. I laid my hands on my stomach and I said, Father, I asked for us. Would you grant my prayer? Well, a few minutes, stomach calmed down. I got up and went in the bedroom. Laid down, it started again. I just laid my hands on the stomach. I said, Lord, you said if I ask and doubt not, and I don't doubt you. But Lord, if you want me to be sick if I can't go to church in the morning, that's fine. But if you would, would you touch me? I'm here. Amen. I'm not sick. My stomach don't hurt no more. Amen. Let me tell you something now. He said, You have not because you ask not. And a lot of people say, Well, do you really believe God? Yes, sir, I believe God said it. Take that home wheel and ride it around your little red wagon a while. I believe, I know that God did it last night. Touch me and heal my stomach. Amen. Amen. Why, well, I didn't take no medicine, Jimmy. It had to be God. Amen. And even though all the little birds get out here and fly around there, everything, they have a good time and all. Like Louise was talking about one the other day. They come around behind the house, if you've been behind my house, the house is underground around there, it's lasting over there. This bird come in and uh, fly door to the bird feet and bam, into the door and just fell over a flat of his back. Louise picked him up, petted him, rubbed him a little bit, played with him, and you know what? He flew off. She cares for the little bird. How much more do you think God cares for us? Amen. If we know how to take care of somebody else, we know how to take care of the little birds or anything happens, how much more do you know, Brother Dan Ford, if God knows how to take care of us? Amen. Amen. Let me read one more verse here. Verse 31, right? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall ye eat, or what shall ye drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things of the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. And another place in there might be in the same chapter. And he knows before we ask. Amen. 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 Just a song, Miss Reader. Amen. That's amazing. But don't lay nothing up down here worrying about life on earth because the Bible said seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. We need to start seeking heaven. You know what? A lot of people say, you know, I want seeking Jesus. Now you better read that again. He said he first comes seeking you. And you seek him and ask him he'll do what he says. While we stand, while we stand. Amen. We ought to, nothing else, we ought to get in this altar and thank you for this rain. Amen. Amen. Talking about a few weeks ago, you couldn't burn no trash or nothing. It's getting so bad. Down in Florida, down yonder at uh, Chimney Rock, I forget how many thousands of acres it's burned the last few weeks that they couldn't put it out. Maybe it's rain in heaven. You know what? God knows how to water. Why we're saying Thank you, Jesus, for the